sponsors who only get visibility at those events, but you'll get visibility everywhere. If we do an, if we do a letter, we will mention on there that you are sponsoring this this project. Um, so that's that's what I'm talking about here. Now, one of the things I mentioned to Brad is, if you for this kind of thing, you're probably talking about more money than an event sponsorship. You know, an event sponsorship, you might, at the high end, you might ask for 5000 maybe 10000 But to do a project, you're going to ask typically more than you would because they're going to get more exposure. And you're going to want somebody who's, you know, you're basically going to call them your partner in this, right, if they're sponsoring the whole project. They're not paying for the whole thing, but they're giving you a big chunk of money. The corporations don't exist to give away money, right? That's not, they exist to build shareholder value, right? And they give away money because it's good corporate citizenship and it can be part of their marketing plan. But they don't give away a lot of money. If you look at you know, the whole sphere of money that's given away, uh, there's, a, there's a report done every year by Indiana University. Uh, they do the research on it called Giving USA. And, it, and they say how much comes from, you know, how much money comes from individuals, how much comes from foundations, how much comes from uh, corporations. If you look at that, um, the corporation slice of that pie is smaller than wills, wills and bequests, which, as my faculty member said, dead people give more money than corporations. It's, 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 but it can look big because they give it in chunks, right? They're not, you have billions of people making donations. You have hundreds of millions of people in the U.S. making donations, but you have a handful of companies and they, they're each giving out big, bigger chunks of money. Well, so you want to go after that if you can. But um, what I'm what I want to say about it is when you look at like a national you know um, when you look at a, lo a national company, they're going to be drawn more toward getting national exposure by sponsoring a project. That doesn't mean that they won't do a local project. Ford and Chrysler and GM might want to sponsor something with you because they're headquartered here. So I found out you know I found that. I had a hard time getting IBM to sponsor anything here, but they would readily sponsor things in New York. If they're sponsoring something outside of New York, it has to be something that where they're getting national visibility. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about who to approach. Doesn't mean you shouldn't approach a large corporation. I mean, you are. This is an engineering project, and automotive companies are really, you know, would really be interested in that and might want to sponsor your project. Um, but think about other local automotive suppliers or engineering, you know, engineering firms that might want to come on and be, and get that visibility in the Detroit area because their market is in Detroit, okay? So think about that. that that's the big thing I wanted to point out here, okay? Oh, you don't have a difference here with grants. You, they're, not, they're never gonna ask you to report back. You're not gonna have to file a formal report. You are going to, just like with everybody, you're going to keep them engaged and let them know what you did with their money and send them, email them pictures and send a video and stuff like that. And at the end, maybe invite them to help come to the party to help celebrate. They may even pay for the party at the end. Um, but, you know, there's not a formal reporting requirement. They get a lot of visibility. You're going to find this because you have a relationship with somebody. You're probably not going to go out and cold call. You might cold call for uh, event sponsorships at lower levels. I've done plenty of that. But this is going to be, you know, we know somebody at this, you know, architecture firm or engineering firm or something, uh, and we think that they, you know, I, I know them, they're you know, good friends or something. I used to babysit them, whatever. That, uh, but you're, you're probably going to get this based on a relationship, okay? So think about that. So. The, there's not a ton of effort here because you're not writing a big proposal. You don't usually have to submit a big application. You're really just going to tell them, here's what we're trying to do. We'd love for you to join us in this project by being a sponsor of the project and giving you know, $10,000 to get these benefits or $25,000 to get even more benefits and really try to sell them on that. Okay. So the, so the effort and time is fairly low. Uh, the cost is fairly low. The, 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 it's hard to tell what you're going to get from a funding. It could, you know, 
It could be a little bit of, you know, it could be $10,000, or you could get somebody coming in saying, we'll underwrite, you know, a quarter of the cost. It's, it's kind of hard to say. It kind of depends on the relationship that you have with them and who they are, what kind of resources they have to, to uh, do corporate citizenship, okay? Now, th is, is the difference between grants and sponsorship clear to you now? Yeah. I mean, I was I was just confused because of um, you know some some corporations kind of have a philanthropic arm where they administer grants through that, um, and then some of them are just you know then, and that that's a grant, and then you know and you're just approaching someone and it doesn't have the whole formal application process involved, and yeah, you just kind of so yeah. So Ford Motor Company has the Ford Motor Company Fund. GM has a GM foundation. Chrysler, I don't know if they they still had they used to have the um, I don't even know what it was called Chrysler Foundation I guess with um, that Frank Fountain ran. Um, so those you know those are the philanthropic arms. So the corporation feeds money into the foundation. The foundation is supporting projects that are going to give the corporation some visibility and goodwill. Uh, but then, even still back within Ford Motor Company, the marketing departments have a budget to do some sponsorships sometimes, and I'll use those for you. In my last job at IBM when I was doing marketing, we were throwing hundreds of thousands of dollars, half a million dollars to 10 organizations um, each year to specifically to, uh, to provide the marketing that we needed to do that our foundation wasn't doing. So okay. it, it, it kind of depends on, do you, do you know somebody in one of those areas that has that kind of budget? Or do you need to go right to, you know, I, I know it's Jim Vella at Ford Motor Company Fund and, and say, hey, we really, wanna, we really wanna do this thing. Is it, does this fit with your pri any of your priorities? And again, they all have websites. You can go to their website and, and so, and what I do is I go to a company's website. Um, Ford Motor Company, and then I look at the top or at the bottom links for something that set that says community, or you know, or foundation, or citizenship, something like that. You click there, and that then takes you into the whole world that tells you what they will do, what they do for the community, mm -hmm. from volunteers to writing checks. So, do you think that we should get them or ask to have sponsorships for the event and the project, or? probably would have more luck doing one versus the other. From the same company? Yeah. I would go for one or the other. So okay. I had which one would it be though? Like what you you have to yeah, you have to well have to think about that. Um, if you have a strong relationship with somebody and it fits them really, it seems to be the kind of thing that they want to fund, then I would say I would talk to them about a larger amount first to sponsor the project sponsor our project in Nicaragua and here's the visibility we can give you and we will throw a, a party, I, I think this is a great idea, we will throw a reception um, as soon as we return and we're going to invite executives from you know all the companies that sponsor any of our events or we're going to invite a bunch of people and we're going to have a reception we hope you'll pay for the reception and uh, <laughs> I've done this I've done this, there's an organization um, so my marketing job at IBM at the end was uh, was marketing to uh, gay and lesbian owned businesses. And so we were the GLBT global sales team. So we were giving money to organizations, the Human Rights Campaign and, and GLAAD. Well, GLAAD wanted to do this media thing in South America, a media guide to tell reporters in Central and South America how to report on gay and lesbian stories. And so we funded that. And at the end, they threw a party to launch to to uh, debut this book that they were putting out, they put our logo on the cover of the book, and we paid for the party. Who paid for the book? It's a it's it's it, it was just a media a media guide. It's okay. not a formal uh, published okay. book, but it was a guide that they put out for media in Central and South America on how to how to. Uh, avoid getting yourselves in trouble when you're reporting on gay and lesbian stories. So, right. it's really interesting. So, you think about well, what's a creative way we could give them some visibility. Well, if you're throwing a party and you're honoring them, maybe giving them an award at the end, and there's a bunch of other executives there that you've invited, or 
community members, that's a really cool thing. And they might set a high level executive to accept that award. So we'll think about those things as we go along, okay? Can I move on to events? Are we yeah. set? Yeah. Okay.